take me through a typical day for you because you're not just a director you're executive producer as well how does how does your day go how busy is it how long do you tend to, to work every day well it depends on which part of production we're talking about um you know in terms of being an executive producer and a director you know i i am involved in every aspect of the show from uh, creating all the sets with our production designer, Nelson Coates, um, creating a vision visually for the show. Um, I'm, you know, I hire all the directors. I prep them when I'm not shooting, when I'm not directing, I set the tone and I'm in charge of post-production where I'm actually still working as we speak. I mean, not at this very moment, this is kind of a little respite from my post because I'm finishing up the finale, mixing it on Monday, as a matter of fact, uh, finishing up music cues. And so I oversee all of production as well. Every VFX shot um, goes through my brain and um, all the music, all the v uh, all the sound. Um, it's, uh, it's a very all encompassing show. You know, shooting during COVID was very challenging and we had incredible epidemiologists to make us safe and, um, you know, trying to shoot the show in a, keep it in as visual as it always has been and to even make it more visual during COVID was very challenging. You know, we never left Los Angeles and, you know, we are in Vegas, you know, we are in New York, um, we are in Italy, we are everywhere. And, and it was, very challenging to keep it and make it look completely authentic. Yeah. Have you enjoyed, I mean, you obviously did ER in, in you know, the middle of the 90s. Have you, have you enjoyed kind of seeing the evolution of television, not just in terms of what stories you can tell, but in terms of just how all encompassing it's become almost like, like movies, you know, everybody wants to work on television now. Yeah, it's been quite an evolution in television since, he, since the ER days, I have to say. Um, I mean, that was a very gratifying time for me. Um, you know, working in television and films for me is, you know, quite, there's really no difference for me. I approach everything in a very, in a, you know, in a very cinematic and emotional way. And so I shoot uh, for the big screen, even if it's on the small screen. And because sometimes you never know where you're seeing anything these days. And, um, yeah, television has really evolved um, since the ER days. Um, there's incredible work on, in television, um, in cable, on all the streamers. Um, and obviously we've had to look at some of our great movies on the small screen. I crave, I crave sitting in a theater, which I haven't done in a year and a half or however long it's been, because I won't go until it's really safe. But it's in it's you know the theater is a temple always has been. Sorry, I'm going off track. Um, but uh, yeah, I feel very fortunate that we were able to tell this story during these times. Yeah, I may just say as a final question, if the audio is okay, that I'm a huge fan of the Peacemaker, and you know I tip my hat to you about the Peacemaker. It's great. I love that song. Thank you. Um, why many people didn't go? I don't know. It's it, the ruby business is very strange, but I really enjoy that film. It's a very kind of guilty pleasure for me. So I just wanted to put that on the record. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.